Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hannah, and today's video is a pregnancy update for week number 26. To start off with week 26, as with week 25, acid reflux and um, cravings at night have been happening. It's annoying, but it's happening. And I imagine that it's going to keep on happening. And, um, Let's see, in week 23 and week 24, I was saying that I haven't had any heartburn. I think um, possibly the acid reflux is the whole like hair thing for me. So I'm not getting heartburn and that's great, but I am getting acid reflux and it's quite annoying at night. Last week, I also mentioned that I was feeling kicks in my ribs and or like little flutters in my ribs and I am definitely feeling the actual kicks now. Um, it's it's an odd feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but um, it's like a sour feeling, I guess. Um, the kicks aren't that hard and I expect them to get much worse, um, but I, I think I'd rather take these little kicks, at least, um, in my ribs over like getting kicked really hard in the bladder. Um, which, speaking of the bladder, I think what's happening with that is that the baby is isn't really kicking my bladder but that it's like already on my bladder and then just like stretching really hard against it because it's not like a sudden thing it's just kind of like a oh oh okay yeah I have to pee now <laughs> um, we were actually walking in the mall and we were coming out of the mall and the baby was doing that and I was like oh we, we gotta, st I can't walk, I can't walk and have this happen <laughs> or else I'm going to pee. <laughs> um, I didn't, so that's good, but um, it definitely felt like I could. This week I had a doctor's appointment and it was the glucose test. It actually wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be as people would put in your head for it to be. Like the drink is, yes, it's super sugary, but it's not that bad. At least the orange flavor wasn't. They didn't give me a choice. They just handed me an orange bottle. So I was like, okay. Um, but basically, have you ever had those hug jug juices when you were little? Cause that's exactly what it tastes like. It even has like that scratch at the, at your throat as it goes down. And so I was just like, okay. I can get over it it's just it didn't taste as artificial I guess as the hug jugs are so I could handle it a lot better than that um, I because I hate the hug jugs <laughs> but anyway it really wasn't that bad the worst part was getting my blood drawn because I hate 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 that it's like every time I go every time I have to go get my blood drawn like the more queasier I get and so even though the needle was so tiny I, and I didn't even look I was still just like uh, I don't want to be sitting in this chair so anyway along with the glucose test my doctor wanted to do a complete blood count test so I had like two different vials of blood getting drawn um, and we did get our results the next day and um, I passed the glucose test with flying colors, thank goodness. Um, so I don't have gestational diabetes, which is a very good thing. My mom had gestational diabetes, and so I was quite scared that I was going to get it. But she also didn't have it with her first child, and this is my first child, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm doomed, because I am a spitting image of my mom. So I'm just like, kind of expecting whatever she had that I'm going to have. So I don't have gestational diabetes, which is a good thing, um, but with the CBC, the complete blood count test, um, they did say that it showed that I have a little bit of anemia. So the doctor wants me to take iron, the 325 mg, twice a day. And so, yeah, that would make a lot of sense as to why I am so tired and I feel like I can't do anything but sleep all freaking day. <sighs> so anyway, hopefully the iron will start helping me and um, yeah, and I kind of expected to be on the anemic side because pre-pregnancy I do run low on iron. 
um, but I've kind of gotten used to it, but with like making a baby, like there's kind of like a lot more work that my body's doing. So of course I'm a lot more tired, but anyway, that was the results from all of the tests that they did. At my doctor's office, I believe this is probably true with everybody, but around week 28, we start doing two week appointments, like seeing each other, or seeing the doctor at two week intervals. And she said that next week we will start doing two weeks or like not next week but the next time I come in to make it two weeks so I have an appointment in two weeks <laughs> and it's kind of crazy that at that point I will be 28 weeks like I will already be starting in my third trimester and that is so crazy to me the time has flown by and it won't be long before I meet this little one oh, something else um at the doctor's appointment they like measured my belly from like my pubic bone to my ribs I guess I don't know it was strange never had that happen before obviously um, so that was the first time happening and now I'm kind of like oh I guess they're gonna do that every time so now I'm like what else are they gonna be doing the like cuz the appointments are getting shorter like in between so I'm kind of like what else will they be doing <laughs> um, so yeah, but she said I was measuring fine. She also said that my weight gain was perfect. I have only gained 11 pounds and so I'm like, I can handle that, thank goodness. I have like 25 to 30 pounds I think she said that I can gain. So I guess I'm doing just fine. <laughs> it's like I meant to do this. So this morning I um, decided to put on some music really loud on my phone and hold it up to my belly and then the baby started like kicking and punching and it was kind of like kind of in beats I mean obviously not perfect beats because it doesn't know what keeping time is but it was keeping time in its own way it was so cute so I'm gonna try to do that again and hopefully I can get it on camera um, and if I do, I will insert it here. Of course, I'll insert any other movements that I catch as well. are so sweet I just I love catching them and I love like watching them and feeling them and just uh, yay babies on to my pregnancy plus app well, this is baby at week 26 I really don't know if y'all can tell any difference besides like obviously the position changing that it's doing but honestly there's nothing new about the baby it's just taking a little snooze as always. The information says that it is 14.41 inches and 1.93 pounds, so almost two pounds. It says that your baby will be practicing the sucking reflex in order to prepare for breastfeeding. And your baby's neurons and brain tissues tissue are developing rapid, rapidly. Even though your baby's skeleton is completely developed, the joints are not yet connected. That's going to freak Rob out. I'm going to tell him that. Oh my gosh. Size for week 26 is the same as last week, week 24, which what, by sweets, it was a chocolate cake. By the animal, it was a rabbit. And by fruit, it was a papaya, I believe. Yes, a papaya. And so that's going to stay the same until about week 27. So one more week. That is it for my week 26 pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. And I will see you next week. 